I'm Natisha Lance with your speed feed. A mother of five dead tonight shot in her own driveway and the killer is still on the loose. Police say 35 year old Sharika Bowman was inside her car when she was shot outside her Stone Mountain home. Bowman's teenage son was at home when all of this happened and police have not released details on a motive or a suspect yet. 11 Alive has confirmed Amazon reps were here in Atlanta this week. Atlanta is one of 20 cities trying to lure the company's second headquarters. Eight areas around town were initially being considered, including Fort McPherson and the Gulch, which is near CNN Center. But our sources are telling us they skipped at least two of them, Doorville and Stonecrest, on this visit. Raising some speculation, Amazon is focusing more on downtown. MARTA making big moves thanks to a new bill just approved at the State House. MARTA will merge into a regional transit system that will now be called the ATL. It will stretch into 13 counties. The funding will come from the state budget along with the sales tax increase if voters approve it. Planning on the project will begin next year. And how can we forget this nightmare? One year ago today, that fire took out a section of I-85. The collapse caused traffic headaches for weeks, but miraculously, miraculously, no one was hurt. GDOT crews worked around the clock to get the interstate back open, and with millions of dollars in incentives on the line, they managed to get the road back open ahead of schedule.